My PhD research project deals with the internationalization of higher education, but from a linguistic perspective, focusing in particular on EMI, which stands for English Medium Instruction. So EMI refers to the use of the English language to teach non-linguistic subjects, like engineering, at universities in non-anglophone countries, just like at the University of Bologna. So EMI allows domestic students to benefit from a multilingual and multicultural academic learning experience at just a few miles from home, while international students can choose to benefit from a high-quality tertiary education, but basically everywhere in the world, given that EMI courses are delivered through English as lingua franca. So my PhD research particularly focuses on classroom interaction in different teaching modalities, so face-to-face, -face, online and blended EMI lectures, and from a multimodal perspective which means that I look at language and classroom communication not only by focus on language, so spoken and written language, but also on non-verbal resources, such as gestures, body movements, and nowadays increasingly through the interaction with digital resources. So drawing on the tools of multimodal discourse analysis in particular, I've carried out several workshops on media literacy addressed to lower and upper secondary students, aiming to help them to develop the skills to analyze, evaluate, and critically reflect upon media content. More specifically, students were first asked to analyze media contents related to four main topics. There is migration, climate change, gender and body image, and human agency. And eventually students produce short videos related to these topics. And I realized that time after time, students learn how to recognize the main cliché and stereotypes in the media representation of these topics, which multimodal strategies are used to convey these stereotypical representations, and eventually how these multimodal representations affect people's perceptual experience of the world. That is, uh, what we think of, for example, climate change, and how we act upon that. I think that both my PhD research and the Media Literacy project might contribute to the promotion of the fourth SDG, since with my PhD research I aim to make tertiary education more global, inclusive and equitable for all, while with the Media Literacy project I aim to integrate the current curriculum with new tools, methods and topics, so as to fully meet these new students, the so-called Generation Z, needs and interests. But I think that also this letter might fit other SDGs, like the third, good health and well-being, the tenth, reduced inequalities, and the thirteenth, climate action, as the topics in the workshops also dealt with migration, climate change, gender and human agency, which also shows the interconnectedness of SDGs. By studying classroom communication in the EMI settings, I aim to provide university students at the University of Bologna with a more inclusive, engaging, interactive and culture-aware EMI classroom. As regards the Media Literacy Project, I think that the pervasiveness of digital communication in the life of younger generations in particular has made more urgent for us as professionals and teachers to provide them with adequate instruments to deconstruct meanings conveyed by media messages and eventually empower them by promoting their awareness and critical thinking.